So hey guys, Sherrosis here, and uh, today I thought I'm gonna just do an Aquaman Nuzlocke here. I was pretty uh, bored, and I was also working on another video, and that took like a month, and I was working on it for a month, and basically without um, any um, progression. So I was like, well, screw that. I'm gonna leave it for leave it on the bench for now. And I was like, oh, I was gonna do um, Aquaman Nuzlocke now. So yeah, hey, you know what's actually pretty fun about this doing this. Since the game isn't finished, it is probably gonna be finished next year from what I from what I heard. It basically means I can just play to a to a point and then wait when the game is finished and then just like continue playing the nozzle like eventually. So I literally just have future content here just waiting to just like happen in the future, which is great. Now let's see, I'm gonna choose the hard difficulty because uh it immediately removes the core mod after it dies, so I don't have to like remember who's dead in the box. Like no system of oh yeah, you're dead, you're dead, and I can move things in the box. So yeah, this is gonna help me a lot. And there's pretty much nothing else added to just just so I can just like remove immediately the one who dies so normal. And uh I'm gonna use the click the left extended course and uh, my gutlet's gonna be um red, you know, because uh so if, so I could fit the theme here, you know, the theme. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. All right, got uh, the red one. Looks nice on us. Nice, nice. All right, I'm gonna choose the red glove here because it really fits uh, my style, you know. All right, nice. Uh, looks really cool on Farmer John here. Looks really nice. Oh, just for the stick module. It's gonna. Uh, you know what's funny? They have so many out of this game that I never use. <laughs> I never use the. They had repels, and I was like, I was like freaking Evo Creo. I had a, I have a Krayo memory where like we don't have repels, and then we had it in this game, and I was like, "Whoa, is that new?" <laughs> I was like, "What is this magical thing?" <laughs> I was like, "That when I was playing this game, dude." I think literally at like the late part of the demo, I realized, wait, we have repels. Um, Toruga here, a good fire type, you know, a pretty good uh, fire type, fixed gains, uh, mixed Kormon immune to critical hits. Pretty dope. We have um, Nibblegar. So Nibblegar is really good, a really decent water type, you know? The only water type you can actually find. Whoops, spoilers. It has no ability, but it doesn't matter that much. These really don't matter that much in this game. As long as you know what to do. We have Cup Zero here. A pretty decent ice type, you know? Not bad. Um, sharp Claws. The Claws are super sharp. Lows, um, lowering its attack is impossible here, stuff like that. Since this is a Nuzlocke and the Best, best choice here would not be Cub, would technically kind of be Cub Zero, but actually I'd rather grab a Nibble because I don't want a freaking Ice type that's to, that's that has Water type moves, but it's literally super super weak against Fire type. So I'm thinking of going for Nibbler because of the um, the Water typing, but the end end boss here at the demo is like uh, gonna kill me. So. I'm gonna pick Taruga. Let's give Taruga a nickname. Let's call you um, Tortuga. Tortuga. All right, we got him. That's right. And um, I'm still missing one more Kermon. Yeah, thanks for the fighter bit. Thanks for the five spinners. Thanks for the type manual and everything like that. If you haven't played the game for the first time, you get a lot of things to the game. So let me show you my whole team here. We got a uh, Patterbit here. It's another case you get if you just like um, did uh, the normal one where you catch one. But I didn't. Oh, he has Conductor. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, it could be worse. Could be way worse. All right, boys. First area Radiant Puck. Thanks for the gold. You know what's funny, right? One day it was my birthday, right? And. Uh... And uh, I basically got some money as a gift, right? So I went to the supermarket, I bought some stuff, you know, because I was uh, hungry and thirsty. So after I bought, um, buying everything and they gave me the change, I put it in my, bo uh, my pocket and then went home, right? When I arrived home, I got the money in my pocket, then I counted it. And I was like, wait, I'm missing 10 bucks. And then I realized that, oh, snap, it must have fallen the moment I put it in my bag and my... And my um, and my freaking whatever in my pants, you know? And I was like, oh crap, I actually lost 10 bucks. But since it was my birthday and I was in a really good mood, I was like, oh, okay, it's freaking 10 bucks. It must have probably made somebody's day. I'm just, I was literally thinking like, yeah, somebody must have found that thing. It must have been like, yes, yes, 10 bucks, you know? So I, 
was pretty cool, but still, I might have probably made somebody's day. Ooh, got a Seagull here. I think it has no ability, right? I don't think Seagulls get, get abilities. Alright, gotcha. Let's check out your stats. Ro oh, eh, it's not that bad. I, I can get a like, crap ton of money. Could be worse, could be worse. Let's give you a nickname. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna call you Crow. Classic nickname. Oh yeah, thing is too, I don't have to nickname my Coromon. I could, but I don't mind. Holy crap, I encountered this Kareo called Mino. Uh, this thing is insanely good right now, in early on in the game, because uh, even later on. So what it has, it has this move called Tail Wag, which hits multiple times. And it's pretty freaking strong, you know, it hits really hard. It has a, it's mostly like a really good physical attack. And it's, just, it's pretty scary too, if you can't like beat it immediately, or if you just, if he lands multiple crits, you know, but I, uh, I managed to beat him, thank God. He's freaking terrifying. All right, boys, made it to the city. <clears throat> now this this kid, he's gonna trade you. Um, he's gonna trade you his uh, Bo um, Bosby, or I can't remember the name of them. Uh, the um, Coromon for Amino. If you if you encounter Amino, uh, you can probably trade it for uh, this. This thing is actually pretty good. It's not actually that bad if you if you know how to use them. It's actually really good. Also, quick thing, really really quick thing. Now, um, if you look at at a Koruma, right? They have uh, two bars. They have the experience bar and the blue one under it, which is called their potential, which I I don't remember the name, but I'll call it the potential bar right now. So what the potential bar is, and uh, pretty much when it fills up, you have a chance to like uh, give your um, Koruma extra stats. So think of it as RPG, right? When you level up, you're giving um three, you're given uh, three skill points where you can give towards any stat that they have, like it being if it's attack or special or HP or whatever you want to put or whatever you know that you can put the skill points on so whenever you level up and uh, the blue meter also um, fills up you basically get three skill points where you can get where you can just attach like any of their stats if it being HP or health defense whatever the heck you know just to like if you want to it pretty much helps makes you like uh, gives you the chance to like customize your Coromon to like any kind of like uh, stat combination one if you wanted to be like really physical defensive or speed or if you just wanted to have a balanced stat You know pretty much just like normal things. Let's see what we have So we got anything cool oh, Actually, you can actually be on card. Yeah, oh, it's level 8 so nice. Uh, let's go for feelers Jesus Christ if that was a critical that would suck I'm pretty much dead to a crit here Oh god. Slam? Good, good, good. Switch. Venice. Oof. Don't poison, no poison, no poison, no poison. Thank god. Okay, I gotta lower it a little lower. A little more. So let's go for a slam here. Oh, slam. He's boosting. His, he's like, boy, I'm about to freaking. I'm about to, okay, good. I think it's, it's good enough. I'm poisoned, which sucks. But I can probably catch him, right? Go, Spitter! Catch Beazle, Beazle! Come on! Come on, Beazle! Come on! Stay in there! Come on, Beazle! Come on! Beazle! No! Oh my god, that's so much damage! Don't do that much damage. Ah, oh, freaking dang it, Crow died. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. If he doesn't stay in the ball, I'm pretty much screwed here, and I just wipe. Come on, Beazle, stay in the freaking ball, please, Beazle. Please, I'm begging you. Please stay, please, 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 Beazle. Yes! I lost the but it's okay. Uh, antidote, the Coromon builds up uh, Antidote over time, which can cure squad members from poison. That's interesting. Jesus Christ, that thing hit so hard, what the frick? Oh my god. I lost Crow, but it's okay. It's like I'm like that sad about it. I, I haven't even used the but I gotta get these guys to, like at least like high level attack. It is the good thing I saved the, the blacksmith here so I could install the item that I need. Alright, thanks for the items, dude. Thanks. Alright, meanwhile he's working on the, the godless here. Installing the equipment. I'm gonna go have fun. But I think
think this has been a good a good enough uh, episode here. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day.